Why am I blur? Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. And my battery is flashing. Very great start to the day. Let me change my battery and come back. My voice is still raspy. Um, I have woken up super early today. I have already showered, washed my hair even. It's a very, very productive day. My hair desperately needed to be washed. <clears throat> So I put um, Olaplex number no. 3 on my hair last night and washed it up this morning. My hair feels so good, like knock on the wood. It is going towards so much better. So I just thought while I washed my hair today, I can show you guys how I use my Dyson. I think in previous videos I did, um, but I don't think I showed you guys how do I use the curling wand, the wrap wand. Um, so we're gonna do that today together. I'm actually not getting ready in the morning because in the afternoon I mean nighttime. I'm going to a birthday party. So I'm gonna get ready more towards afternoon nighttime probably um, But yeah, I'm gonna do my hair in the morning because I had um, Treatment in my hair. I couldn't leave it until afternoon to like wash it and blow dry and all of that So we're gonna do that in the morning and then in the afternoon We're gonna get ready together do hair and makeup and stuff um, she's gonna drop a few like cheese board beads uh, for me to make a cheese board for her um, By the way, I forgot to wash my hands after applying my face um, tanning serum and Tips of my fingers are a little bit orange. I have a few items that I purchased I want to show you guys um, Just very this is the smallest H&M uh, order that I've ever done literally three items four I've never done that two home items two clothing items um, so I'm going to show you guys those. For the time being, I'm just going to go enjoy my cup of coffee because I desperately need it. I'm still half asleep if it is not obvious. And then we'll blow dry our hair together and I'll show you guys how do I use the wrap thingy of the Dyson. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright I just cleaned the entire house but I'm gonna do my hair here and then I'll vacuum it again um, because my room is really 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 dark it's such a gray day I know it doesn't look like it but it is very gray I'm literally sitting right by the window uh, but now we're gonna blow dry our hair uh, I'm gonna go in with my RN Code Dallas thickening spray Ooh, I look crazy just on my roots and then I'm gonna go in with my Bumble and Bumble blow dry cream. Yeah, finish this product finally. And then I'm gonna go in with my Kerastase one. I absolutely love it. And because it is made for blonde hair, it always um, keeps my hair like ashy tones. Even if I don't use purple shampoo, like today I didn't use a purple shampoo But I used the entire line from um, the Blonde Absolute from Kerastase And they all help my hair to stay ashy tone Even though I don't mind a little bit of warmth in my hair I'm just gonna brush my hair 
The first hair, I'm gonna go in with the regular blow dryer. I'm just gonna basically blast dry my hair. I'm just gonna section my hair and go over my hair with the smoothing brush and just like basically brush it. If you don't have frizzy or broken hair, you can just skip this and go to the curling one section. Um, but because I have the damaged and uh, frizzy hair, I have to do this step uh, for it to be completely smooth. And for the top top section, I'm gonna switch it to the rand brush and do it with the rand brush because it just works better. It gives out more volume as well. because I don't want too much tight curls I'm gonna go in with the um, thicker barrel uh, first I'm gonna just clip in my extension because I just like clipping in my extension before styling my hair so the extension can blend with my natural hair better I'm only applying the two front pieces and then because obviously the Dyson has different heads for different sides I'm just gonna do one side first and then move on to the other side I'll just make like make two sections the top and the bottom and what I do is I take not too much of a big section but not too much of a small sections and like this much pretty much and I basically just curl it as I would but I only focus the curl at the ends of my hair I don't touch it, I let it sit and then at the end we will brush it out. I have found out that this head doesn't do the best job at smoothing, so that's why I will highly recommend brushing it with a smoothing brush or the round brush before going in with this, because I have tried going in with only this. It works on so many people's hair, but it doesn't work on my hair, so I have to use the um, other heads before this one for a smoother effect. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. it out obviously this is not like a curl curl it's just basically a blow dry effect like in the bend um, if you want like actual curls then you need to go in with the thinner barrel uh, but I like this like little bend like blow dry effect I'm gonna go in with my Gizu oil you let it set or set it with the cool setting of the Dyson it, the curls will be um, a little bit tighter but personally that's not what I am looking for uh, I like my hair mostly on the straight side but I don't want it to be like completely straight I like this little bent that this creates uh, which sometimes I have a hard time creating this look with the curling iron because curling iron um, gives me an actual bent bent and not like a wave do you guys understand what I mean I'm sure you do I really noticed a huge difference in my hair ever since I started using only Dyson. I still use curling iron here and there and if I want to change up the style of my hair, uh, but for the most part of it, I don't use curling iron or straightener 
anymore i know it seems like too many steps like too many heads that needs to be changed but personally for me the health of my hair is a little bit more important for me and the dyson is so powerful that all of these it doesn't take me more than 15 minutes i used to absolutely hate washing my hair because the days that i was washing my hair it meant like 45 minutes of blow dry time then like uh, 20 minutes of curling time it just was a hassle even though i don't have that much hair uh, but because my hair is damaged it doesn't dry quickly but ever since i'm using the dyson literally my hair routine is so quick like literally so quick uh, but yeah here's how i use the curling wand um i absolutely love 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 the effect of it i'm gonna get dressed and then show you guys um the h&m items that i purchased here is one of the items that I got from H&M Home. It's basically a cushion cover. I put our Christmas um, cushion that I got from um, Target inside of it. Um, it is a little bit big, um, like it has a little bit of empty space, but I think it matches perfectly and I absolutely love the color. I love the shape for our house so much better. It matches with our couch better. Um, so I got this. Only the cover um, was $25, so it's a little bit pricey. It didn't come with the actual cushion. Um, but I love the fact that we already had the cushion and we'll just put the cover on top of it because storage is a huge issue. And this is the other home item that I purchased. It's basically a tea towel set of two. Um, one of them, it says season everything with love and the bottom one is a regular checkered one. Uh, since it was blue, I was like, this will look very cute with our um, kitchen and this seems like a really good quality and I think it was only $5.99 if I'm not mistaken. And here's the two of the clothing items that I got which is basically the same thing but different color, different sizes. I absolutely fell in love with this pearl detailing. You guys know I'm not a huge blazer person but when I saw this I was like this will look very cute during um, like spring and I've been seeing so many blazer styles that I was like let me just see if I can recreate it. So I got it in a size large and the black one is a size medium and unfortunately this did not fit me but this one fits really well absolutely love the color i love the style of it it's look it like it looks so chic i love blazers that have this a long front color section i don't know what it's called so yeah here's everything that i got from h and which is super shocking because when i go to their website i buy everything that they have but surprisingly this time i only put in a purchase um of only four items when we wake hear the birds and see the sun Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. I may have, or may have not, woken up from a nap just right now. I was so 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 tired. Oh my god, I was still yawning. I don't know why I was so exhausted today. Honestly, after I talked to you guys, it just got really chaotically busy. Um, made lunch, had lunch, had wine with lunch. So probably that's why I was um, falling asleep. Um, and then I had a lot of content that I had to shoot, like flat lays and stuff. And um, I actually recorded a reels as well, two reels in one day <laughs> that's a lot um but yeah and i edited them and all of that so i was feeling really exhausted so i was like let me just take a nap before i start getting ready i have to figure out what am i wearing i don't want to wear anything dressy dressy but i don't want it to be super casual either i want it to be like birthday casual you know what i mean but <laughs> yeah uh, i'm gonna get up make myself a cup of coffee and then uh, I am going to make a cheese board and then we'll do our makeup and get ready. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, I am finally getting ready. I have to redo my hair too. Hi, Sutik! Oh, cheese is so There you go. 
my little cousin Monte is at our house and my mom gave him a cheese steak so he literally walked all the way from kitchen to here for me to open it for you he's so cute but yeah I have to redo my hair as well because I had it up and it's kind of messy uh, I mean it all depends on what am I wearing I still don't know what am I wearing but for the time being I'm just gonna get ready and do my makeup when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright stopped working i was literally having a heart attack it's back on we're good <laughs> by the way i'm you i decided to use the small barrel so i can show you guys how the car looks with the small barrel oh, we don't need no makeup is done and now finally i'm going to figure out what am i gonna wear um by the way for eyeshadow i used modern renaissance from anastasia beverly hills i used this like red shadish color for no reason because i am not wearing anything red it's just i was tired of my browns so that's why i went with the red color and now i'm going to figure out what am i gonna wear good morning everyone it has been two days three days ever since i saw you guys last it's actually it's really cold so let me turn on the fireplace Oof. so i've been having a very productive morning already uh, we have my hair done which i actually really like i was really in a mood to do my hair and makeup today i don't know for what reason i don't even have a photo shoot i mean i might take the opportunity of it and take a picture but i'm not going out for a photo shoot i actually have a little of errands that i need to run i have a meeting um at noon which i'm very very excited about it um restaurants in la are opening up which i don't know how i feel about it because until yesterday they were saying the rates are sky high so i don't know why they're opening up the restaurants i'm very happy that we get to go out again but i want to make sure it's in a safe way like are the ratings actually low i don't know what is happening i'm a little bit confused on that department but overall i'm excited that we can't go to restaurants again uh, but yeah, i have a meeting at lunchtime uh, but weekend this weekend was very very wild a kind of a weekend that i haven't had in a very very long time pretty much friday and saturday was party mode all the way Sunday was recovery mode pretty much all the way um, it was raining actually on Sunday so it was really nice to be just at home cozy by the fire watching TV it just was amazing the only thing that I got out of bed for on Sunday was getting my Botox um, I refreshed refreshed my Botox I got few units in my forehead few units in my eyes I skipped my lips this time but this week my sister is supposed to go for hers and I probably will go with her and do my upper lip I do a lip flip with Botox that I personally really really love 
and um, but we're gonna fix my forehead like this area if you guys can see the fold of this one is more than this eye and we were gonna try to fix it with injecting it here but unfortunately that didn't work out so I have to go back again and try to see how can we fix this fold um, we would sometimes inject like put Botox here so you can lift this up but sometimes it lifts it too much and I don't like to be unnatural I still like to be me but like bougier version of me <laughs> if that's if that makes sense um but yeah um i topped off my botox on sunday which was like fabulous i just love 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 botox um i did my side i don't know if i told you guys but i did side of my eyes as well it was not too much we overall did i think 30 units or 35 units i'm from i think 35 units uh last time i got my botox was in october probably actually september um but yeah from september until now i honestly didn't need as much it's just this eye is my main thing that i fixed with botox which this time injecting it here didn't work out so i think we have to inject somewhere here and just so i can lift it a little bit but we'll see i'll keep you guys updated on that and yesterday which was a monday was pretty much work day i had a lot of editing blog posts and all of that to write and i was not in any shape or form able to vlog sunday night actually i slept really badly really badly i was up at like i was up every 15 minutes i was so cold at one second so hot at the other second i had to wake up at three o'clock take a shower because i was sweating but at the same time i was cold i don't know what was happening so i literally at three o'clock in the morning woke up and took a shower because i really needed the warm like water to kind of defrost me you know what i mean because i was really cold but at the same time i was sweating like it was such a horrible feeling and then um i woke up actually again early around five o'clock and i was like i'm just not gonna go to bed and i started working but monday night which was last night i took my aldi vitamin and i slept all the way through the night i had 12 hours of sleep so that's why i feel like myself this morning but yeah, that's the rundown of how my weekend was since I didn't vlog. Today I have a little bit of errands to run and I have a meeting. Um, I'm going to H&M because I have a few stuff. If you guys remember a few vlogs ago, I showed you guys an H&M haul that some of the items haven't worked out for me. I have not yet returned those, so I have to go to the store and return those. And then if I was able to, I want to stop by Anthropology just to check out what do they have in their home department and stuff. I want to do that. Um, yeah, just have a little errand day. I have to go to Target. Um, I want to see if I'll be able to purchase. There are two beauty items that I have in mind I want to purchase. The one is the Maybelline mascara um, that it just recently came out and I've seen it all over TikTok. And the second one is... I don't know if this is a new product or it is new to me elf came out with the under eye brightening highlighter basically the same as my mac one that i absolutely love and adore i want to see if my nearby target has it i checked on online it says it's not available for drive up so i have to physically go into the store and see if they have it um so yeah those are the two products that i want to go get and then what else do i want to do yeah and go on to anthropology and obviously i'm gonna go to h and i'm gonna try my best to not to look around and just do my return and come out but yeah that's the plan of action but let me show you guys my ootd before um we leave the house here is what i'm wearing i'm wearing this very very cute top from h and my necklace is an ice link choker that i absolutely love and then my pants are my absolute favorite ones from target that i love and adore you guys know how much i love these i have them in every single color I just love 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 them and i'm not wearing any shoes yet but i'm gonna wear my zara shoes um and then we're gonna head out the door i really like my hair and makeup today um i don't know for what reason i got dressed up but it's just i was in a mood one of my um, new year resolutions um is that to have a little bit more fun with my hair because i usually go for very like classic like straight styles basically but I want to have a little bit more fun, incorporate more like updos, um, braids and stuff. Just have a little bit more fun with it basically. And this was a very like quick and easy um, hairdo. I basically just put one um, extension up here and just put it in a high pony and wrapped my hair around it. And um, just curled a little bit of my front pieces. And I think it looks cute and I really like how my makeup came out as well. I'm, Gucci, I'm wearing my Gucci bronzer by the way. Um, that bronzer is growing on me. I really like it. 
but yeah i'm gonna wear my shoes and grab my bag and we're gonna head out head out and hopefully it will be a successful shopping day it is so cold outside so i had to wear this coat this coat is from in the style and i grabbed my bag and i'm wearing my trusty zara boots and now we're gonna head up it's so 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 cold i don't know how all of a sudden we slept we woke up it's like canada here <laughs> so yeah let's go head out because i have a lot of things that i need to get done today back home and i was organizing my um next vessel pot so i just thought i'll show you guys what i got um i usually get the same things today i got a new item as well um so i got two of my decaf ones because you guys know i absolutely love drinking coffee but i don't love the effect of caffeine all the time so i got decaf one i got two of my half caffeinated ones i've already opened one of them so I got two of the half caffeinated ones, which are fantastic when um, you want just a little bit of caffeine. You know, in the afternoons when you're tired, but you don't want to commit to a whole cup of coffee. These are perfection. Um, I got Columbia. This is one of my absolute favorite ones. And then this is a new one um, that I've never tried before. It's called uh, Mexico. The salesperson really recommended it. Um, so that's what I got. I put them all in my little jar here. And I'm going to put these ones away that they didn't fit there. And where else did I go? I went to Target, Major Fell. They didn't have not the mascara or the concealer, so they didn't buy anything. Today I was very good at holding myself accountable on not buying anything that I actually don't need. I didn't buy anything from Target. Uh, I actually ordered those two items off of Ulta as soon as I got home because I saw they have it in stock. So it's going to get to me probably next week, so I'll try it out with you guys. Um, then I went to Anthropology. Anthropology was like a ghost town their home department was so empty like they didn't have any new products online they have tons of new products but in the store absolutely nothing like it was literally empty they only had like few valentine beads but i'm not into that so i didn't purchase anything from anthropology then went to H&M, um, did my return, and H&M um, didn't have anything either that I actually would like. Um, I only bought a few accessories, which I'm going to show you guys um, in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I only bought basically earrings from them. Like, nothing necessary, honestly. But I love gold jewelry, so I bought a few um, earrings. But clothing-wise, honestly, they didn't have that many stuff that, like, caught my eye they had a very beautiful dress like a floral dress that would be perfect for spring but sadly they didn't have it in my size and then headed to my meeting i was supposed to go to my nail appointment after my meeting but uh, my na nail tech called and canceled uh, very understandable reasoning um, so i'm gonna go end of the week um but yeah that was that let me show you guys what i got from h&m not that many products um just literally earrings um and a pair of socks i absolutely love these cotton socks from them they're so comfortable and cozy so i got a um, pack of that then i got these hoop earrings because um no reason just because basically they're absolutely beautiful if my camera focuses on it there are these robe um earrings hoop earrings and then I had to get the bigger size of it because just why not, you know? Uh, we like to have options. So it's technically almost the same thing, just a little bit bigger. And then purchased this because I just loved it. And then uh, I saw this thick hoop earrings and this is something that I actually don't have. Like I have thick hoop earrings, but not they're not this thick. So I purchased this. And this is the last item that I got from them, a pearl and gold half hoop earring, which was so adorable. So yeah, I just bought earrings and socks from H&M. I was very much looking forward um, into going to Anthropology and purchasing a few like little home beats, but sadly they didn't have anything. Uh, but I'm going to go online and see what they have online. Uh, I saw online they had so many cute stuff, so we'll go and check them out. 
and that is going to be today's vlog i'm actually going to close up this vlog here because i have a lot of work things that i need to get done uh, and i actually want to organize my wardrobe as well i don't know if i'm gonna do that today or i'm gonna do that tomorrow i'm not sure i want to just take out the stuff that i'm not gonna you know like the wintry stuff that i didn't wear this year and then uh, put them on my Poshmark and then just clear out my closet basically. Thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye